bees and the haters. Real sharp on my thing like a razor. Blade come clean like a shaper. So I guess I get a game of tape up. But everybody gon' feel the need to say something. But can't speak up whenever you face something. That's what I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you. And there's the opening bell, round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Big George Foreman against Lennox Lewis. Boy, if he can deliver that power to the chin of Lennox Lewis, George Foreman may have himself a special night. Oh, he will. And guess what? Lewis won't. <laughs> because he'll be seeing stars and hearing all kinds of birds. And that's the thing. Foreman has the better chin here. And he can punch with both sides, on both sides, right hand and left hook. For George, he has to look out for that right hand. The danger comes from that with Lennox Lewis. Blocks the headshot. Halfway through round number one. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Lewis, and you can see some swelling there as a result of the damage that he took in that last round. Well, right now, Lewis has to correct the mistake. Why he's getting hit with those punches, and the rest is up to his corner to take care of that swelling. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Lewis is doing a great job. Well, I really like how productive he is right up against his opponent. And he wasn't supposed to be able to be productive on the inside. He's an outside guy. Reminds me a little bit about Riddick Bow and Holyfield. How so? All right, keep well, it clean. Well, that's exactly what he deserves. The ref getting involved, warning him for the headbutt. Wow, look at that, training shots. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Teddy Lennox has had a very interesting career. Many would say, at times, a roller coaster career because he had the instances where the chin gave out on him. Yeah, he has, but the most important thing in his mind is he's come back, and he believes in himself, and that's where that great amateur background comes in. He's been down dark roads before. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Yay! 
Lewis is coasting his way towards a victory here. That round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for him. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glutton. You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table, you know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the bank. fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. Nothing there on the punch by Lewis. Lennox Lewis is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have him ahead on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coach because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his piece of cues. <laughs> extraordinary job of never giving his opponent the chance to get back in this fight. Just like we saw in that last round there, he's way up on your score. Yeah, I have way up, and more importantly, you touched on it. It's the kind of fight he wants. You know, it's in his element. It's in, sort of in his pool, so to speak, his waters. You know, it's an outside fight, it's a jabbing fight, everything he likes. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That was a miss by Lewis. Foreman's doing half of his opponent's job for him. He's a sitting target. This is like being in the gym for his opponent right now. Yeah, he's just standing straight up, making himself much, much too available. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made. Oh, precise and painful. The hook puts him down. big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're gonna find out and for the second time tonight he goes down um. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's going to avoid... Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. Foreman is rising up after being knocked down. Big George went down. Now he's going to continue on. Right to the head and right to the canvas. Down, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. 
Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. This is a fighter who we have a great...